everyone welcome to today's video now Christmas is right around the corner and especially from a business point of view now if you want to create some books that sell well at Christmas and collect those Christmas royalties then you need to act now well not quite now watch this video first because I'm going to show you my approach to creating and selling books during the Christmas period. Now, if you've not been here before, my name's Paul Miles. I do videos on how to make it, keep it, grow it, and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. Now, one of the common questions I get asked of late is, is it too late to create books for Christmas? Well, the answer to that is yes, and no. If you're thinking of creating things like activity books, puzzle books, colouring books, planners, diaries, then yes, I think it probably is too late because by the time you've created one of those types of books and then put it on Amazon and then fought with all the other competition on Amazon, you may be too late to get those sales for Christmas unless you're going to run uh, an ad campaign, which may this time of year cost you a bit of money. However, there are certain types of books that you can create now, can create them quickly and have the good potential to sell during the Christmas period. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you or give you some niche ideas, some target customers, some of the common keywords to use at this time and some resources. And then I'm going to quickly show you how to create a cover and give you some ideas for the, the titles and subtitles of these books. But one of the mistakes I see a lot of people making for Christmas is that they are trying to target Christmas specifically. Now, the issue with that is that it's such a broad market, you're sort of swimming in this big pool of other Christmas books. And if we look on Amazon and just put in something like Christmas Notebook, we've got 20,000 results. So you're competing with a lot of people. Now, one of the things also about Christmas is that if you produce a book specifically for Christmas, not only are you competing with a lot of people, but once Christmas is over, you're unlikely to make any more sales of those books. Now, with the ones I'm going to show you, there's a good chance that you could make some sales all year round. Now, I've been through two Christmases since I started in the no content and low content book business. And I've noticed each time that sales of two certain types of books increase. One is funny books and two is books related to sports and hobbies. And that's because a lot of people are buying these as gifts for other people. And that's what you need to get into the mindset of, the, the mindset of a gift giver. They're buying these for someone else. And usually due to the price, $6.99, they're small presents, they're sort of stocking fillers or white elephant gifts. They're small giveaway, throwaway presents, just as a, a small add-on. So that's what we want to target, people who are buying these for other people people. Now I've done this neat little mind map which which outlines the niches, the target market, some of the keywords and the resources. So from my experience the niches, the things you want to target are hobbies, interests, sports and occupations. And the target for these books, remember they're gifts for the people, are going to be things like teachers. So kids teachers, coaches, particularly coaches of, of kids, co-workers, relatives, and that includes sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, that type of thing. So let's have a look at that in a bit more uh, detail initially. So in terms of niches, hobbies and interests, these are great sellers because they're quite specific. So you can imagine what I like to do is put myself, say, in the position of a a grandparent buying a present for a grandson or granddaughter and they're thinking oh what are they interested in and it might be um, football and they go oh let's have a look on Amazon for football gifts or funny football gifts so where do we get ideas for these niches for these hobbies interests sports occupations 
Well, one of the best places is Wikipedia. And I like to just go to Google, put in list of hobbies, and it usually brings up Wikipedia as one of the, the first choices. And here you've got now all these ideas for hobbies, sports, um, collecting hobbies. And these are really good niche markets that a lot of other book producers aren't thinking about or aren't targeting, yet people, particularly this time of year, are buying. So you could have lists of hobbies, lists of sports, lists of occupations. And what I would actually do is create a spreadsheet, something like this, where down the left hand side, you can make a list of all different types of occupations, sports, hobbies. And I wouldn't necessarily stick to the more common sports as I've written here, football, soccer, basketball. But look at all those more uncommon ones because people will be buying these. And then over the top, uh, in the top row, put in the list of your targets. So then you can tick these off. So you could create a football book for a son, a daughter, niece, nephew, mom, dad, grandpa, uh, or put grandpa twice there. And you could actually end up with a, a huge spreadsheet with lots of books to create. But don't get overwhelmed. Try and keep this sort of quite simple and maybe just focus on sports for uh, an interest for, for girls or for boys, you know, keep it quite neat. So as I've said, Wikipedia's good, Google's good. And then I've got here uh, as a great resource for creating these type of books is Pinterest. Because once you come up with an idea, what I found that sells really well is humour, you know, funny books. So in this case, I've picked um, an example of, you know, creating a ballet book. Now this could be for a boy or a girl, but in this case, it's going to be for a girl. So I would go along to Pinterest and put in, put in something like funny ballet quote, because these quotes are going to go on the front of our notebooks. So this could be anything. It could be funny uh, baseball quote, funny basketball quote, or funny engineering quote if you're deciding to go for occupations. And that's quite a, a big one. You know, the list of occupations is huge. But for things like occupations, I would probably stick to the more more common ones, fireman, nurse, uh, doctor, engineer, computer scientist. You know, you've got you've got a big range. But I would for this case, I would stick to the more common occupations. So in this case, we've got things like funny ballet quotes. And here you've got this huge resource of quotes that you can put on the front of books. And for this example, I'm going to choose this one here. If ballet was easier, it would be called football. Now, if we go back to our mind map, when once you're starting, you've created your cover and you're starting to think about keywords. Now, where would keywords for this be important? It would be in the subtitle of the books and in the seven keyword boxes. So the sort of keywords you'd be thinking of would be gag gift, funny gift, gift for ballet dancer, football player, or gift for football playing son. And then you've got something gift like ballet gift, football gift, baseball gift, funny basketball gift, funny baseball gift. And then you've got things like funny gift for football playing son or football gift for son or funny ballet gift for daughter, that type of things. So you can use this as a little template. And don't forget to add in things like stocking filler and white elephant gift. And any keywords you don't use in your subtitle, you can use in those seven keyword boxes. Now, if you're liking this so far, so far please do give the, the video a, a thumbs up because it does help with the algorithm and get this video out to more people. Now also, if you're a complete beginner at this, and this is an ideal opportunity for beginners because what I'm going to show you, um, these books are very simple to create. But also if you're an established um, notebook creator, this is also a, a good way to get those Christmas books out. But if you are a beginner and some of this confuses you, then do look in my uh, book tutorial playlist because I've got all videos on how to create covers, interiors. And more importantly, after I've showed you this, how to upload your book to the KDP platform. So we've got our niches, we've got our target markets, we've got some resources to get ideas. You can create that spreadsheet and we've got some ideas for keywords now 
uh, that we could use in the subtitle and our seven keyword boxes. So now we need to think about creating our book, how to create one of these. And I'm going to show you how to create one and it doesn't take long at all. Now in this example, I'm going to show you how I create one on Adobe Illustrator. But you can do this in Canva as well and you can open up a free account in Canva and create one of these covers easily there. So the most common size of these books are six by nine inches. They're 120 pages and it's going to be a blank lined journal or notebook, which is what we usually call a no content book because these sell really well at Christmas. So first of all, we need to get the size of our book. Where I go to to do this is bookow.com and you would click on free create space KDP cover template generator and you would go down to the template generator because we're going to need one of these um, for when we create our book. So you put in the size width, six inches, height, nine inches, page count 120 and then you keep these ticked, the PDF and PNG, ignore these two options here and then you put in your email address and, and just repeat that. Click the consent to email and click on email cover template and this will arrive in your inbox and what you will receive and, and what you then download is this it's this template here and this gives us the important dimensions for our book as we can see here so this will be 12.52 inches by 9.25 inches and this is important because it includes not only the size of the the pages but also the bleed and takes into account the size of the spine of the book. So you could go to Canva and you would click on create a design, custom dimensions, and the width is those figures that I've just given you there, 12.52 times 9.25. We want that as inches. Click on create new design and there you've got the, the template for your book cover. Then click on upload and then you want to upload the template that we've just downloaded from our email. So you can just drag that across. And then it's just a case of dragging it onto your, your book cover template. So here you have a template which gives you the, the guides to where to put everything on the book. So I'm going to switch over to Adobe Illustrator now and again create 12.52 times 9. 0.25 and I'm going to drag our template over like so click that into place and I'm just going to lock that in place for the moment then over the left hand side I'm going to click on the rectangle tool add a new layer and just draw a rectangle in place and I want the color of this the fill to be a pink color something like that color again I'm going to lock that into place for the moment so now we need to write our funny quote so create a new layer and then type T for type tool or click on the type button and then we'll write our quote here. So just gonna center align this and then enlarge it. Now I want a, a fancyish font for this. So I'm going to choose, let's have a look here, something in keeping with the niche. Hmm, quite like this one, make that a bit larger. Bally was easier, it would be called football. Now that on its own looks a little bit plain. So what I'm going to do is get some ballet related graphic. So I'm going to go over to Creative Fabrica and I just put in ballet and did a search and I came up with these graphics here, which I downloaded. And these have commercial and full pod usage. So this is okay for the book. And we've got that here in Adobe Illustrator. So it's just a case of clicking on it copying it and pasting it into place. So it's going to reduce the size of this. I'm just going to move this below our text. Then over on the right hand side where it says transparency, I'm going to decrease the opacity to around about 15%. Now the reason we wanted our template, our book template there, was so that we can make sure everything's within those red borders so it doesn't get cut off when the book is printed. So we're just going to highlight and unlock the pink background, turn the transparency just to say around 28%. And you can see here, we've got our guidelines and we've got our writing. So we can reduce the size of our image and move it into position. We're just going to increase that a little bit and then get the text sort of around about the center, which I think is around about there. And then we can actually delete 
or turn off that, that layer. And then our pink background layer, increase the opacity to where it was. Now that's looking a bit too dark for the pink, so I'm just going to lighten that up ever so slightly. And there we have our cover. Now you could put some text down the spine, but I don't think you need to in this case, because we're going to be using this quote as a title for our book. So all you need to do now is save this to save this file and then save it as a PDF file, which is what you're going to then upload when it comes to uploading to KDP. Now in terms of the interior, these are blank line notebooks. We just need a lined interior and I'll show you where to get one of those. So you need to follow the link below to my Gumroad shop, which are where I've got lots of resources including this free lined paper interior. So you just click on the lined paper interior. This is free, then you just add it to cart, download it to your computer, and that's 120 pages. So that's ready to upload straight away to KDP. So now we've got our cover, we've got our interior. So then it's a case of going over to KDP, putting in the title, which in this case would be this quote. If ballet was easier, it would be called football then looking at the subtitle and I would put something like funny ballet notebook dash the ideal gift for daughter, niece, sister, that type of thing. You get the idea. So you're covering a, a few areas there within the subtitle. Any of those keywords that you didn't use in the subtitle, such as fun, um, gag, stocking filler, white elephant gift you could put into those um, seven keyword boxes along with other keywords like journal, uh, notepad, that type of thing. And if you're using Canva, you would go through the similar process to what I've just showed you there. So you see how quick and easy this is. And literally you could, uh, you know, from start to finish, get your ideas for a book and market, create the cover, upload the cover interior, do all the title description and literally have one done in half an hour or, you know, an hour. If you're starting out, yes, I understand it may take you a bit longer because you've got to get over that learning curve of using the software programs, got to get over that learning curve of uploading to KDP. But as I, again, as I said uh, earlier, if you go and have a look in my book tutorial playlist, I give you all uh, the videos on, on how to do that in a bit more detail. So you can follow along there and then just follow this video, start creating your first books. Because it's probably one of the most important things with this business that I, that I find most people have difficulty with, and that's just starting. You know, I find people spend weeks and weeks on their first notebook trying to get it perfect. Don't. Just create something, upload it, move on to next. Create, upload, move on to next, or create, upload, repeat. That'd be a good t-shirt, wouldn't it? So there you go. I hope you found that useful. There's nothing to stop you now from really attacking the, the, the Christmas period with these different niche ideas. So if you did like the video or found it useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but make sure you do hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell. And until next time, goodbye.